Hey everyone, happy Sunday. Well, it's my weekly garden walkthrough and it has been raining a lot. Over the last couple days, we have gotten oh, probably four or five inches of rain and it just rained now. It's still kind of sprinkling out, but I wanted to get this done before it gets too late. And um, we've, we got almost three quarters of an inch just in the last hour or so. So um, we were, I, on my last video, I showed that we had some problems with some leaves and some plants. And one of our um, subscribers, Jason B, told me about being a um, nit nitrogen yeah, uh, deficiency. So we started working with different types of uh, supplements, you know, nutrients and stuff like that to see if we can start correcting the problem with some of our issues. Um, I mean, things are still producing really well, but we want to try to get them in the best condition possible. So we uh, have done a couple, but of course it has rained so much, which doesn't help matter because basically things will just, you know, wash right through. But um, we will see. Um, so basically uh, things are looking really good. Things are starting to ripen up finally. And I did put out four boxes later this earlier this week and um, I should be picking tomorrow morning since it's raining now. I was going to um, pick today but it definitely, I really don't want to be out here all that time to, in the rain. <clears throat> so we got some nice big red mamas that are ready. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, some Naga BBGs. Um, as we walk through here, oh, and I'm getting wet. <laughs> We've got a um, a nice peach butla here and some nice red devil's tongues and uh, this one here <laughs> it actually looks really cool for being a devil's tongue <clears throat> we got some chalk naglas uh, ripening up here and uh, a couple here and there for those and I know we have a lot of chalk nagla beast that are not ready but they are really looking good some of these are super big and really bumpy um, we got some ghostly jalapenos that are starting to ripen up some pockmark oranges right there as we go around we have some of the uh, seven pot ripple which are really nice. I put some of them out last week and they're gnarly, gnarly looking pods. So here's some more that are basically ready to go. <clears throat> we got some yellow fever, at least one, maybe two by tomorrow. Um, of course, we got purple ghost. Um, as you can see, even though this is a gorgeous, beautiful purple color, this is not ripe. So they do turn red, but they mostly have a purplish hue to them if you can see that real good so i got some of those um definitely some nice chocolate jigsaws this thing is really starting to um ripen up nice and we also have some red jigsaws that are ripe um but as you can see on here there's quite a few that are ripe and ripening like I said, some beautiful red ones there. Also on the smaller plants, we got some chocolates on there and some reds on here. So they're doing really well. This is a purple ghost scorpion. And uh, we got a couple on this that are starting to ripen up as well. Same thing, they start out purple and then they turn reddish with a purple hue. So we've got those. I'm gonna walk around this way. Oh, it's so wet out here. As you can see, thankfully, my things are in pots because if not we would have nothing but floods and we'd lose so many plants so here's my favorite the uh, jigsaw brm yaki blues we got some that are ripe here here same thing these things go through such transformation where they start out this deep purple then they end up being a little bit lighter and then they end up you know this gorgeous thing so we got some of those we also have a couple um, amnesia peppers, which we were waiting for them to start ripen, so we got a few of them. One back over there. Oh, I have to get this done before it rains too much. But we got lots and lots of them on here. 
beautiful pods. Definitely. They are just loaded everywhere. Lots and lots of devil's breath as well. Or dragon's breath. Sorry. There's a couple of them straight through. And then again, a whole bunch of these jigsaw BRM Yaki Blues. Got another one here. Looks like it's starting to get ripe. So definitely have those ready. This is another amnesia as previously seen. But even this one, you can start seeing a little bit of discoloration. So I'm hoping the new nutrients will help, help that out. Look at the size of that sucker. We have some sad yellow dragon's breath, uh, which we also added new nutrients to. So we'll see how that turns out. We'll definitely have some BOC Primo creams. We have a couple of those ready already. And uh, still, of course, lots more. These things, it's funny how they hide under the leaves. Oh, and we also have our first, well, actually our second Primatali red ripening up. And we got quite a few on here. They're, they're little hiders, but they're underneath everything. And you can start seeing them. And uh, there's some really cool ones coming in. Little ones right now, but they are growing. So we have a couple other plants that we're waiting for pods to show up on. And as you can see through the walkway, it's just water everywhere. <laughs> Big mess. Um, don't, might have one or two. Yeah, I see a, a seven pot brain strain down there. And there might be another one here somewhere. And you probably can't see it, but the spider that's always there. <clears throat> so then go around here. And I'm going to skip this aisle so I don't have to walk through that. And on this side, we have Red Reapers, which we really don't have many ready to go right now, but there is a lot of Red Reaper plants here, so they're full of pods. This here is my um, uh, CPR, and you can see that there's definitely pods on this, so we just gotta wait for them to grow up. And then our, our beautiful Caramel Reapers. The tails on these things are amazing. Look at these suckers. They are just one of the greatest of the tails that I that I even have. Seriously, they have just incredible tails. <clears throat> and these are some more yellow reaper here, which has lots and lots of flowers and little baby peppers on it. And then we come around to our mustard reapers. And we've got some of them that are starting to ripen up. So as you can see, like here, that is actually just about ripe where you have one that's not ripe and it's this nice green color like that. So you can see how it changes. But this is also, we have a six, I believe six total of the mustard reapers. There's another one ready to go. So we definitely will have some of those this week. And um, <clears throat> let's see here. There we go, there's a whole bunch more. But being that these plants are, you know, pushing over a half a year old, actually more than that now, because most of them are from January if they're not overwintered ones. So, you know, you have to replenish nutri nutri nutrients. Sorry, can't talk today. Blame it on the rain. <laughs> so here we got seven pot infinity. And so we have at least one and another one over here that should be ready by tomorrow. And, oh, there's my butterfly. He is my resonant butterfly here. He's a giant swallowtail. And I uh, will post some pictures of him directly because he is gorgeous. And he doesn't seem to really bother. Even the larvae don't bother the pepper plants much. This is supposed to be a seven pot white bubblegum, but it's more pinky, peachy color and no bubblegum. But that's okay. It's still hot. And we got quite a few of our G Congo gigantic mustards that are ripe rain coming <clears throat> and uh, oh, some of these things are absolute monsters Let's see these beautiful colors on these there's a couple down there there's a couple there a couple down there down there <clears throat> and we'll go around here first oh that's a really nice looking color look at that one and these are our yellow um, seven pot brain strains and nothing really ready on these right now. 
We also have purple brain stains, chocolate brain stain, no, sorry, caramel and purple all along here. And I should get a couple of those. And these are, uh, I got a seven pot peach scorpion that's in there. A couple of those went out last week. And then we have over here, we have some white ghost scorpions. And uh, we have quite a few that are ready to rock and roll here. There's a lot under here. I know I really suck at taking videos, but so you can see there's a lot on here. So I'll be picking those and they'll be in boxes. Um, yep, there's quite a few here. This here is just one of our regular, and again, you can see how some of these are starting to get that look. So really hope that the nutrients help. Um, but this is our Trinidad red scorpions. And there actually is a lot in here, but it's so hard to see them because there's so much foliage. But they're in here. Now, awesome things are <clears throat> peach marugas are looking awesome. Lots and lots of them are now ripe. And you can see under here, we got quite a few of them this week. And they're nice and big and just beautiful pods. And even on this one over here, I believe I have that one I know there's another one over here somewhere that's ripe too but uh, yeah so we got lots of those these are in scorpions I have quite a few of these that have now ripened up they are look at the gorgeous color on those suckers they are so pretty <clears throat> over here this was our one that I originally talked about uh, being uh, nutrient deficient and so like I said, it's covered with flowers and even some baby peppers starting. So we'll see what happens and hopefully the nutrients boost it up. We got our white marugas here and we got quite a few of them ready as well. So hopefully this week I can get close to being caught up on orders as I believe we have oh, 13 or 14 outstanding. So I'm going to leave my pre-orders open because once we get another week or so in, I'm going to be putting out probably 10 to 15 boxes a week. So if you want to get in on it, I would suggest you order. Um, <clears throat> all right. So these are some apocalypse scorpions that are ready. Um, I don't see any of the chocolates that are ready yet, but there is quite a few in there and they're always gorgeous pods. And then of course we got our good old peach and red ghost scorpions. These things are taking off really nice. Last week I put out quite a few. And this week, same thing. We have quite a few of them. And as you can see the size of these things, they are just beautiful. Eh, beautiful. There's quite a few of these that will be ready. And we go over here. Oh, as you can see, just water everywhere. But in an hour it will go down and you won't even realize it rained that much. We got a lot of these seven pot dougla no sorry start over white ghost dougla yellows and uh, quite a few of these ready to go right here too and these are some white ghost and they're getting closer to being done <clears throat> my red ghosts are probably the saddest ones i have no idea why they have not grown correctly and then of course we got our fun Mushrooms that grow all over the place. These here are some Thor's Hammer. Definitely some nice looking pods. And uh, I'm not seeing anything ripe on the Rebions here. Or the Scotch Brain Yellows. But like I said, we do have some yellow fevers here. You can see this one's touching now. <clears throat> This is our cookie monster. We did put some out last week. I'm hoping some will be ready tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Let's see, it looks really deep water. We got some ahi mangoes. And you go back a little bit, we got our caterpillars, which are really cute peppers. And go some more thunder. Probably shouldn't be standing in water. We got some Congo browns back here. These are the Hinkle Hats, red and yellow. They're not super, super hot, but they have great flavor. So I usually include one or two in there, just so you guys can taste them. And then, let's go back. These are some more of the Red Devil's Tongue. These are looking really nice. 
Um, we have <laughs> trillions of scotch bonnets and they're starting to ripen so hopefully a few more will be ripe and here we got another red oh it blew away uh resonant so then we go through and we got our kang star lemon star kissed and some of them are started to ripen or some are ripe nice uh, we have some tiku habaneros which really are not habaneros at all they're much hotter than that some sugar rush peaches now that are ready. We put some out last week. I think I only have one plant, so I can't do too many of them. Got some nice orange habs that are ready. The red habs are not as of yet. We have uh, actually really no lemon um, lemon drop or ahi lemons ready yet. But we do um, chocolate bell. If anyone is interested in trying one of the chocolate bell, um, got these seeds. Actually, I have to look back and see. I'll make a note in the comments. But they're really cute. I'm going to ready to try that one tonight. And uh, then we have some of these, which are the Ecuadorian Devil's Breath. And uh, you can see these are, are coming to life now. Not quite sure what they taste like, but we will find out. And, uh, and then we got some cotton candy habs back in there. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy our update, and uh, we're just plugging along here, trying to keep dry, and uh, get everything in tip-top condition. Please, comments, questions, anything, leave them in the, down in the bottom. I will make some links down there, too, as well, and, and um, we'll definitely talk to you guys next week. Take care. Have a great day.